okay let us see one more interesting topic which is profit center planning profit center planning will allow us to post plan values to profit center so that we can measure we can measure the plan values against actual values posted to derive the variance okay at the profit center level we can use this report for that to compare the plan against actual and derive the variance we need to post the plan values using this function here under profit center accounting planning costs and revenues uh, there's one more thing you need to understand is that there's no budgeting in profit center accounting as we have in uh, call center accounting you see here under cost and accounting planning you have cost and the budgets in addition to plan plan values so the reason why we are having budgeting in cost center is because we budget only the cost and we do not budget the revenues that's why in profit center accounting there's no budgeting since we are going to post only the revenues in profit center accounting there's a piece of information if you are wondering why there's no budgeting in profit center accounting we can only plan costs and revenues and we cannot budget revenues under the profit center accounting so let's go into this function i have version 1 period 1 to 2 i'm going to plan for period 1 to 2 for year 2009 for company code sun and for profit center cars and for account number 50001 which is for sales of cars i'm going to enter the plan values for this combination if I press this, it says plan version 00 has not been maintained for year 2009. Double click, it shows that we have not set up the system for, to enter plan values for this profit center. So we need to do that. One way to do that is just press this proceed and it will take you to the screen where you need to maintain the settings. And otherwise, you just go back. I will show you the IMG menu path instead of jumping there. It is over here under controlling, profit center accounting, basic settings, controlling area settings, activate direct postings, plan versions, and maintain plan versions. This is the place where you need to set the settings for posting plan values to profit center. It comes to the same screen that we branch out from the help menu. Just select this plan version 0 because we have already entered plan version 0 here. So we need to do the settings for plan version 0 and click on settings in profit center accounting and click new entries and enter 2009 online transfer checked line items check exchange rate type just choose M rate uh, hopefully we have M yes in case if we plan using foreign currencies this exchange rate will be used to convert the values to local currency and save it so hopefully we can post plan values now you know what's the meaning of online transfer online transfer is used to post the plan values directly to a profit center and together with the line items as I check this if you check this then this version will be locked and plan values cannot be posted so let's go back so we have maintained let's click once again now I'm not sure whether it has refresh let's go back and load it again press yes it's refresh now so now we Hopefully you can see the screen to enter plan values. Alright, profit center reporting currency which is USD. Need of measurement is USD. Sales of cars, I'm going to plan an amount of 1000. And distribution key is 2 which means it will be evenly distributed. Equal distribution 1 so it will be evenly distributed for rest of the years sorry rest of the periods which is 1 and 2 January and February will be 
equally distributed if you choose one equal distribution of one so the amount that you enter 1000 is a total value for all the periods so you can see that that is divided now we can save this so let's go to our report to see the plan values counting controlling provision accounting information system reports interactive report double click that from 1 to 2 and uh, values cast ok and uh, execute ok you can see the plan values for 1 and 2 here and actually is 1000 so the variance is So I should have entered a negative value here because now I have entered a positive value. So plan minus actual becomes. Right, let me see why it's 2000 now. Yeah, because actual minus plan becomes negative 2000. Negative 1000 plus negative 1000 becomes 2000. So I should have entered as a negative amount for the plan value. Because when I enter this as a positive, it will refer to this as uh, expense. Positive is expense. So we need to correct that. Let us see if we can correct that. Go to planning data, costs and revenues. Uh, see if I can reverse the document. back here right enters negative and save it right it has been saved uh, but I believe uh, that will just net off the let me check let me check the report again this one cancel it go to here from 1 to 2 when version 0 execute alright now it looks good so we have planned a revenue of 1000 and we have achieved a revenue of 1000 so there's no variance this minus this becomes zero so there's no variance we have achieved our target plan of 1000 in terms of sales of car so that's what it means and variance percentage is zero So this is the advantage of using profit center planning. I'm going to end the topic here.